All right, guys, here is a lesson on Shakedown Street. Uh, I just did a 15 or no, an 18 minute lesson on this and realized that YouTube had a 15 minute upload rule. New, new deal, I just learned that. So anyway, I'm gonna try to do this quicker. Let's get to it. Shakedown Street, D minor. D minor bar chord, see it, look it up. Don't have time. Okay, so anyway. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold. We're on the D string. And uh, you're going to want a Y pedal or an envelope filter. I'm going to put the envelope filter on. I don't have an envelope filter when we play live. I just have a Y pedal. And that's what I use, and I love it. I have a little Boss ME70 here, which is great for the house because it's got every effect you can imagine. And uh, great for the house. I don't know if I'd take it to the gig. It's kind of small and doesn't look really cool as all my, uh, you know, analog effects. Uh, but anyway, so so we got a uh, D string, third fret, second fret, open one string. Now somebody might say that's the A string on the seventh, sixth, fifth. However you want to do it, whatever whatever works for you. Um, it's all also how it leads into the chords. So basically it does that second, third open on the D string. That's the way I do it. And then it does the however you want to do it. If I'm playing by myself, I do it up here. The other lesson I saw, they do it here. And that may be right, but if I'm looking for a fuller Turn the envelope filter off. You know? So anyway, so let's go into that next sequence, which is that let's do it uh, this way, my way. D string, second fret, bring D string open to second fret, to third fret. Open, second, third, D string. See my fingers? Second, uh, birdie finger, then to ring finger. One more time. One more time on the third fret. Open, G string. Open, G string. to the open G string. That works for me. And I go to a straight up G chord. You can go to a G chord there if you want. Or there. Or there. However you like it. But basically, and I'm doing the Neil Young G chord. I'm going to show you Neil Young chord. Great chord. The, uh, moving from a G to a add G add C, but basically what you're doing is a G chord, basic G chord. A lot of you guys know this, some might not, so bear with me because it may really help them to do something new. I mean, if I pick up an acoustic guitar, this is the first thing I'm doing. So anyway, I'm doing that G chord, and I'm doing my ring finger, the third fret E string. I'm doing my birdie finger, second fret, fret A string. I'm doing my pinky finger, third fret, high E string. And then when you go to the, move to the C, you're gonna move your pointer finger and your birdie finger off. And then you're gonna hammer them down in the C formation. So your, your, these two fingers are stationary, these two aren't. And then I'm hammering the pointer finger on the B string first fret. I'm hammering the birdie finger on the D string second fret. It's a hammer on it. I can just pluck both of those strings. You know? And get okay, so that's how that goes. From this town ain't got no heart. Then to an F note. Then to a C9. 
me show you that C9. F, everybody knows the F. C9, basically. Uh, I'm going birdie finger, third fret, A string. And I'm going uh, kind of a Hendrix chord type deal. Pointer finger, second fret, D string. Ring finger, third fret, G string. And then point, uh, pinky finger, third fret, B string. And I'm not, I'm not hitting that E string. I'm muting it or doing whatever I can not to hit it. Maybe approach it different. Maybe mute it with my pinky as I'm pressing the other one down. Whatever works for you. So that's that deal. And I'm also getting some vibrato action going. Critical. Okay. Then really cool part. Maybe it's because it's midnight. singer I don't try to sing I'm sorry I'm just trying to show you what's going on so anyway so this chord the way I do this one you know maybe it's because it's midnight um, I'm barring all the strings on the fifth fret like a bar chord and then I am uh, putting my pinky on the A string on the eighth fret then I'm putting my ring finger on the seventh fret D string and everything else is barred. See? It's a weird chord. But let me tell you what, practice that because you hit that, it's it just the you can hit that low stuff, you can hit that high stuff. It's just a good opening on that part. Then we're gonna move on down to the uh, make sure I'm running here. So much time I got left. Okay. Then we move down here to the E minor seven chord. Okay. Okay, that one is I'm barring, you know, I'm I'm not, you know, I'm barring all the strings except the E string on the seventh fret. And then I'm putting my birdie finger on the uh, eighth fret on the B string. Then I'm putting my ring finger the ninth fret on the D string and I'm really you can hit the E on this one because it's an E it's an E chord but on the other ones you don't want to so practice just approaching it from the A string or muting or muting you know that E string with this pointer finger you, you gotta you got it there's certain notes you don't want in there on this chord you could hit them all because that E is it's an E okay but when you do the next one cannot hit it. You don't mess it up. So anyway, so it's like the chord I just showed you. Okay, now I just showed you that E minor 7, but now that this is a great chord and this is how you get groove going right here is on this E minor 7, you're going to keep this guy barred all on the 7th fret. Then I'm going to hammer down these two, the ones I just showed you. So while these are barred. And then I can always throw that pinky down for a little flavor on the 10th fret E string. Okay? You'll see me doing that. Um, so it's... same chord formation. I'm going from E minor 7 to E flat minor 7 to D minor 7. Okay? To a G. 
I like on this one to do this high octave G, which is basically barring the, the E string and B string on the third fret, birdie finger on the uh, G string fourth fret, and ring finger on the D string fifth fret. And that's that, and it holds that. You, know, you just get that. Listen to the album that just holds that chord, but it does that little bend and that, 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 you know, and get that down. Okay? All right. How much time we got left? All right. We got five, four and a half minutes. It's <laughs> all right. That's why I had to redo it. I did not want to skip this part on y'all because this is like the best part of the song. Okay, this part of the song is where it's. <laughs> So it's low shake. That's a C7 chord. We're on the 10th fret. We're barring it. Then we got the ring finger on the A string. Uh, sorry. Sorry, I told you wrong. 8th fret. 8th fret, barring it. 8th fret, barring it. Okay? And then we're doing the uh, ring finger on the A string uh, 10th fret. And then we're doing the, the, the birdie finger on the uh, G string uh, ninth fret. It's a, it's a C7 chord. But, you know, I know a lot of y'all know it. For the ones that don't, I want to, you know, if I can help somebody that know this chord, learn this chord, that's what it's all about. So, okay. All right, up here. This is the C minor pentatonic, a mode of the C minor pentatonic. It's like. Okay. So we're not even worried about all that high stuff. So it's. Let's work on that. Let's just do that ox. Three strings. So we're going to go in the first fret, E string, to third. First fret, A string to third, first fret D string to third, and then backwards, so it's, so that deal right there is the A string, third to first, so two times, pull off to first, then to the third fret on the E string. Back to the first fret of the A, hammering down to the third. Then back down on the A string. I'm going to do it slow. So everything is on that A string except that one note on the E. You follow me? string going from the first to third okay and that's how you work back into it that's that that note pinky finger a string fourth fret if there's anything I forgot on the concise version because we got another 51 seconds. All right. The the Bobby part, work on barring the E and B string on the 10th fret. And then I put my pinky down on the E string on the 13th fret. And then I'm doing a, a deal on the 13th fret, B string, pointer finger, and then ring finger on the 15th fret, E string. So I like to mix it. So you can do some of that. 
and, uh, and, and make it work.